next match. Randy, the Macho Man Savage, against the Invader number three. Referee Ricky Borges. Tell us a little bit about uh, the Macho Man and Invader three, Bobby Jack. The Macho Man, a very fantastic athlete, one of the top stars in professional wrestling. Also, with some of it, something I don't think you knew. Randy, the Macho Man Savage, was a great and fantastic baseball player in the St. Louis Cardinals organization. And as you can tell, this man is 110% athlete. Invader number three, one of the greatest legends in Puerto Rico. And I'll tell you something, as you can tell by the crowd here in Caguas, Puerto Rico, it's definitely going to be a match that's going to be watched by everybody. Well, here we are, Rio Piedras, Bobby Jaggers, you confusing the Spanish towns. Again, Randy Macho Man Savage against Invader number three. And we can guarantee all you fans at your homes right now, or wherever you are, that we are going to see a tremendous confrontation to fast wrestlers in action. Look out! What a drop kick! Well, I'll tell you something. That's one thing Invader 3's got going for him. he got speed and agility, and plus an expertise of wrestling knowledge. You know something, ladies and gentlemen? None of your collection of professional wrestling tapes are complete until you have the superstars of Capital Sports Promotions from Puerto Rico, where the superstars wrestle all the time. Well, we have seen Randy Macho Man Savage come in, trying to get a quick victory. And we have seen as the Invader 3 has quickly changed things here in this matchup. Randy Macho Man Savage also likes to do a lot of bodybuilding. He likes the weights, he likes the running. You know something, Lewis Vince, you sit there and take a look, and you take a look at Invader 3, he'll take that size difference of Randy Savage's and turn it to his favor because he's a good technical scientific wrestler and he does great moves and he's a high flyer but there's only one thing when you're a high flyer in professional wrestling only three things can happen when you leave the mat and two of them are bad well i have to agree with you there bobby i have to agree with you there the better three keeping ronnie macho man savage down at the mat trying to come up good hammer lock by the better three Referee Ricky Vargas right on top of the action, and Randy Macho Man Savage also Bobby comes from a long line of tremendous wrestlers in his family. His father, a great wrestler, also his brother. As a matter of fact, two of his brothers are tremendous wrestlers. That's right. You know, uh, Randy Macho Man Savage's father, Angelo Papo, uh, held the world record for most sit-ups by any human being, and I think it was 6,123. Now, to me, that's a pretty fantastic feat, and it goes to show you that Randy Savage has got the drive to be one of the top wrestlers in professional wrestling. He inherited it. Well, we saw when he started professional wrestling, he had a great future, and now that future is a reality. He's one of the top athletes. He's making millions of dollars, and I honestly should say this, he deserves it. He really went out of his way to make sure that all his family knew that even though it was a dangerous sport, he was there to take the risk. As you know, his mother was very scared of him being involved in professional wrestling because Randy's got a bad temper, and he ain't afraid of nobody. And, and you know, consequently, that also carries you a lot of times into the hospital. That's right. You know, Roger Man's Randy Savage is known worldwide for one thing. He's got a short fuse, but I'll tell you one thing. He can back it up, brother. And right now, Invader 3, as we see in this match, so far has controlled it. But he controlled it exactly the way I told you he can control it. He's controlling it with a body part. Now, Randy Macho Man Savage has got to figure a way to take the control from the Invader 3 and go on the offensive. Okay, good tackle. Reversal here. Hip toss by the Invader 3. Oh, beautiful Andre. He came under, took in the arm. What a move by the Invader 3. The fans love it here. And we have been corrected here, Bobby. Not only were you wrong when you said Kawas, and not only was I wrong when I said Rio Piedras, but our editor here says we are in Bayamon, Puerto Rico, going back in memory lane here, showing you some of the great matches here in the World Wrestling Council history, as we have seen some of the top superstars here in the World Wrestling Council, Randy Macho Man Savage, one of them. That's right. You know, look, I'm the one that corrected you. I knew I'd made a mistake because I've wrestled arenas all over the world. You know, Macho Man Savage, Invader 3 just keeps going right back to that one body part. They're the flying body press. This might be it. So, I'll tell you something. There it is, right there. See how he gets underneath that man? He's using Savage's weight against him with that leverage, the same way you would in amateur wrestling, and he's applying it to professional wrestling, which is a great great sign of a great wrestler. Not only that, but such a quick move, like he dipped under, hooking the arm, and this could actually break a, an arm even before it hits the mat. That's crazy, he's actually correct. That man, Roger Man Randy Savage, 
If he tries to plan on that, he's going to have his arm broke. I'll guarantee you that right now. But the Invader 3, you've got to respect him. He's going right back to that body part. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, that he's got Macho Man Randy Savage at a very distinct disadvantage right now, psychologically and physically. The Invader 3 has uh, held the World Junior Heavyweight Championship in more than a few occasions. And he's proven to Randy Macho Man Savage that he's one of the top athletes in that division. That's not only that, Ugo Savinovich. If you're a junior heavyweight champion in professional wrestling, that just means you're under the 220-pound weight limit to be a heavyweight. I think Invader 3 probably weighs about 218, 219 pounds, and at any given day, he could go up to over 220, which he would compete with the super heavyweights, which he does regularly in Puerto Rico. But he's got the advantage that by keeping that weight down, he could always be in shape and one of the top contenders for the title. And he has traveled around the world. They really love it in Mexico. They love him in Canada. And in New York, the Invaders were a top team there also. That's right. You know, right there, Randy Savage is turning the tide of this match right now. You saw the gentlemen. A knee to the short in the back of the Invader number three. And Macho Man Randy Savage just explodes on this man. Just explodes on him. What a nice elbow right there. This might, but you got to wrap that leg up, Lugosavinovich. There's nobody going to pin anybody if you don't get that leg wrapped up. Okay, look out. Good combination of punches by Invader three. And Savage puts the brakes. What a kick. Look out. Over the top rope. Wow. Now, isn't that a disqualification, Lugosavinovich? No, at that time, they didn't have those rules. But look out. Here comes Invader three. Wow, what a flop. Body tackle. What an incredible, fantastic move. Both men outside the ring now. And it's in better three. Getting the best of exchange. That's right. You let me tell you something, Ogus Vinovich. Those high flying moves, like I said, three things happen and two of them are bad. And somewhere down the line, it's going to catch up with Invader 3. As you notice here, now it's just an all out out fight. They're just fighting underneath the deal. The bell rings. Both men have been counted out. But what a match for it. The Invader number three as he has gone punch for punch with the top ranked Randy Macho Man Savage. Both men are counted out, double disqualification. And to me, the Invader 3 has proved one of the tremendous athletes that he is, one of the best.